friends if you've not subscribed to the channel hit the subscribe button press the bell icon and stay tuned for our latest videos hello friends welcome to my channel ask i guru the topic for today is six things in your bedroom that are making you sick do you wake up feeling more tired than when you went to the bed are headaches nasal congestion or sore throats just part of your regular routine is it difficult to remember the last time you slept well or woke up without feeling stiff sore or tired if your answer is yes then it is surely possible that your bedroom is making you sick so guys let's see few things in your bedroom that are making you fall sick green plants though indoor plants help in purifying the air and adds color to your bedroom but if you overwater these plants not only the roots will start to decay but the soil will develop mold spores that can give rise to those asthma or airborne diseases the solution is very simple only water house plant when the top of the soil is dry and never leave them sitting in a tray of water windows if your bedroom window is permanently closed you are fixing in a wide range of pollutant You are surrounded in a wide range of pollutants including dust, pollen and dander. The Environmental Protection Agency claims that indoor air can be 2 to 5 times more polluted than the air outdoors. Hence, open your bedroom windows and let the fresh air get through your room. Pillow. After a long day, you are most likely to slide into your bedroom. When you rest your tired face against your pillow, Did you know that this soft comforting cradle could actually be making you sick? Sadly, pillow rapidly develops bugs and dust mites, promoting allergic reactions like throat infection, sinus headache and nasal blockage. Over time, pillow loses support and shape, leaving your head out of alignment with your spine. Hence, change your pillowcase every few days or once in a week. Utilize an anti-allergy cover to ensure your pillow is safe to sleep in. Pets. Pets are your family members, but when it comes to bedtime, it is always advised that they sleep in their particular space and not on your bed. Since pet fur contains dust, pollen and other kind of bacteria which can trigger allergy and they are likely to disrupt your sleep. Give your pets their own specific beds next to yours and you are likely to sleep better. Vacuum cleaner Although your vacuum cleaner is the easiest way to get over the dust bunnies in the bedroom, but if you're using a vacuum without a HEPA filter, you could be inhaling dust, pollen, dirt or any other kind of bacteria and only to have it spray right back out into your bedroom air. Instead of that, go for a vacuum cleaner with HEPA filter that contains even the littlest of the dust particles. Carpet. Items like carpet is soft and pleasant on the bare feet, making it look amazing in your bedroom. But carpet holds a lot of dust, dirt, pollen, dander, and grima from shoes and feet, and it can even turn into a home to insect if your pets are playing. At the very least, carpet needs weekly and a decent cleaning at regular intervals to avoid allergies or asthma. So guys, if you enjoy watching our video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel.